So we have a little suitcase here, and we have to push this with 710 joules of work. And it says, the, the, the question says, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the suitcase and the force, 0.27. And if the suitcase has a mass of 70 kilograms, how far can it be pushed across the level floor with, with 710 joules of work? Well, before we get moving, haha, -ha, um, let's figure out how much force is required to get this suitcase moving. All right, well, let's see. Uh, in our free body, I'm going to draw it with the same color as the suitcase. So in our free body diagram, there's a there's a force that's being applied that way. So that's going to be our force that's, that we're going to apply. And we have an opposition force, which is going to be friction of kinetic motion. And that's going to equal to 0 0.27 times, um, times the normal force, which is, which is going to be just, oh, we already used that color. So just going to be mg. So it's, it's going to be the same thing upwards. So this is going to be the normal force. So that's that's mg. This should be an n, normal force. So mg uh, times mg. So that's force of kinetic. Well, in order to get this at least moving in a constant speed, we're going to have to have at least this much force, this much force applied here. OK. and. With that information, um, and knowing that work is equal to uh, force times distance, and knowing this information, this is how much that we're, where we have to move, um, we can calculate for we can calculate for um, distance. So force is 0 0.27, 0 0.27 times times mg, which is uh, which turns out to be 70 times 9.8. So I'm going to use, yeah, okay, 9.8. I'll just use 9.8. Um, that's the force, so times distance. All right, so, so now we get to uh, solve for D. So it's just 710 divided by 0.27 divided by 70 divided by 9.8. And that gives me 0 0.3, 0 0.38. So, so our distance is equal to 0 0.38 meters. And I've already checked with um, the web of science, so that that's the right answer.